travel vlogger went viral with 1 million views for her trip to Afghanistan and was shown the brutal reality of Sharia law. Stay tuned to hear what happened to her. Hey guys and welcome back to Somali Christian TV. We are your favorite Somali ex-Muslims spreading the light of Jesus Christ and exposing the dark of all evil. If you're interested to learn more, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join the family. I'm your host Naomi and let's get into the video. So a Turkish woman, a travel vlogger named Kendi Yolda, went to an untraditional place for travel vloggers to go. She went to Afghanistan and she was, unsurprisingly, awfully harassed. Take a look at this snippet from her video. It really breaks my heart to see how anxious and defeated she looks throughout the whole video. She even says in this part that the children are usually innocent, but even among them, there are some that were being scary and pulling her scarf. Like she said, they weren't so innocent. So the thing that breaks my heart the most from her 45 minute long video, which is super interesting and I've linked it down below by the way, is that it was super rare to see a woman. She even said in her title, as a lonely woman walking alone, it's not advisable to go outside. The snippets of life for women there were so harrowing to see. Then she almost gets run over and gets hit on the arm. Take a look at this. <laughs> This man almost ran her over either because of all the children with her or because he wanted to harm her for looking different to the other Afghani women. But then it starts to get really scary for her and the children start threatening her as an adult woman. And look how emboldened this young man is to speak to a woman probably 10, 15 years older than him as if she's lesser than him. Unfortunately, it doesn't end there. She continues the video talking about her experience with the Taliban after her tuk-tuk driver took her to them. They checked her passport and berated her saying that she's not a real Muslim because she's not covered. Those men in Afghanistan were correct if we're going by 2431, Muslim Khan translation, it says, and tell the believing women to lower their gaze from looking at forbidden things and protect their private parts from illegal acts, etc. And not to show off their adornment except only that which is apparent, like palms of hands or one eye or both eyes for necessity to see the way, or out of dress like veil, gloves, head cover, apron, etc. And to draw their veils all over their bodies, faces, necks, and bosom, etc. And this is a harsh and brutal reality of Sharia law. There is zero freedom for women to walk around in Afghanistan. And simply because she wasn't covered properly, she was being endlessly harassed. Granted, she could have been followed because she had a camera, but unless you look like this, you are likely to get in trouble or worse by the Taliban there. She had a terrible experience being harassed and followed by so many men for simply just walking down the street. And this just begs the question, is this a Sharia for UK that they were chanting about? For UK! For UK! For UK! Is this what the fundamentalist Muslims in the West truly want? 
and note how it's always the men following and harassing her. Sharia law is truly a twisted Muslim male fantasy. And this is why we need to keep talking about the reality of what the fundamentalist Muslims are demanding. It's not an innocent, they believe in something different than me. They actively want to change the way you live your life. But goodness, this video was so depressing. And the lack of freedom of women to even be a part of society because of Sharia law was really disgusting to see. And my heart keeps breaking for the girls and women there. We can't forget about them or their struggle. But the men in that video and any Muslim vouching for Sharia in UK or the West, they need to remember the golden rule, Matthew 7, 12. So in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. For this sums up the law and the prophets. How would they feel being followed around like that? Christ teaches us compassion and empathy. Treat others how you want to be treated, with love and kindness. And if you're a Muslim watching this, I ask you to watch a full video and tell me if you see any beauty in Sharia law. This is the reality of that. And you can be free from the chains of Sharia law and have freedom in Christ. You need to pray directly to him, repent for your sins and believe in Jesus. You too can have a real relationship with the real God, not Allah, who really loves you and wants to know you. So there you have it guys. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. Don't forget to like this video, share and comment your thoughts about this video down below. I'd love to hear what you guys have got to say. Don't forget to check out our links to our PayPal and Patreon down below if you want to support our ministry to the Muslims as well. Anyways, take care guys. I love you. Bye.